Hey guys, what's going on? I'm here back again doing another fragrance review for you with a very uh, in a very short sort of like a time interval like the, since the last video. So I guess um, it's something um, I'm excited about and I really had to like sit here and talk to you about. I was like worried, what if I just die, you know? <laughs> well, it's nothing, it's not a laughing matter, but yeah, you can actually die anytime. But let's not talk about that. Let's talk about something positive. Let's talk about a fragrance from Narciso. As you can see from title, this is the flanker of a very, very highly regarded fragrance in the community, Narciso Rodriguez. For him, EDP. I have the EDT. So this is a flanker of this one. So for me, let me tell you right away, I'm going to be reviewing a masterpiece right here. So if you're interested to know about a masterpiece, what a masterpiece to me means, keep watching. Right? You saw my earlier video today. I talked about Versace's man, uh, the original uh, man that is a, uh, you know, very underrated juice and I gave it like perfect 10 out of 10 uh, because I believe this is such a manly man scent. Uh, if you thought this is good, check out this one, all right? Both are damn good. So the house of Narciso Rodriguez, uh, they are uh, not that highly focused in the community. And if you think about it, why not many people talking about Narciso Rodriguez fragrances? Maybe because the reason to me is the availability. It's not made available for everyone. Not all the malls have some Narciso counter. So you can actually go out and try. So if you don't have fragrances like uh, houses are not available that much, people don't have that much interest. Only way that can change is if the reviewers come up and talk. But unfortunately, this for this EDP version, uh, let me tell you only two reviewers I found who did solid reviews on this. And one of them would be Fragrance View, very popular reviewer from UK, I guess. I guess his name is Peter. Uh, he did. He said this is the only, this is the only fragrance from designers he loves. And he's all about niche fragrances. Trust me, his reviews are heavy, heavy hitters, right? And he's, this is the only one he said he loved. There's also one uh, old reviewer, I mean not old as in age, but like one of our veterans in the game. His name is Christo, I guess, Christo for Christo. Uh, his uh, channel is called Beta We Blood. Okay, I don't know what that channel name means, but I follow his work a lot. He used to live in Indonesia, next to Malaysia, so he's sort of my neighbor, but never met. We talked a couple of times. So this fragrance, Narciso Rodriguez for him, EDT. This one got a lot of reviews. This one, many people say it's a masterpiece guys like mark steven they gave this like a masterpiece like unique smell which i agree and i have this on my right hand here and right on and the edp i have it in this hand so i'll show you everything you need to know about this fragrance i'll talk in detail who is it for what are the notes i get from it what to expect seasons and uh i really wanted to buy this fragrance i am not going through the best of times at this point uh, financially but uh I sniffed this, I tested this fragrance severely, I tried it, tried it, tried it for a long time and I decided to pull the trigger in a very uh, difficult time. <laughs> so I hope uh, I can decan some of it and recover some cost. I know it sounds kind of bad but yeah, this is what I kind of count on for my line of work. So yes, let's get into the presentation. Presentation wise, the box looks like this. It's a minimalist, you know, it's a very nice sort of uh, feel to the box. You can see it, it's not really plain, it has some uh, texture to it. Cannot, I don't have the best uh, expressions to tell you what it I get, but it's a very nice pattern. It's a concentration of EDP, and it's 100 mil. And back, you get some more information, okay? Up there, nothing much. Bottom is your summary information. And I believe these are made, should be made in France. I'm not sure. Narcy, so I don't know, I'll put it down. I don't know, I, I didn't check it out, but yeah, I'll, I'll put it down in the description box. The bottle here, it's just one of the most stunning looking bottle I've ever seen. This is already stunning one, the original one. It looks like a cement color, kind of bluish. Uh, this one, I really believe is a classy bottle. But the new one, it even beats this one. Look at side by side. They're the same exact same bottle, but the color pattern inside, it's very mysterious. It's a very musky, it's a very woody, cashmere wood. It's a very uh, sort of like a blanket and it's all painted, you cannot see it inside. So Narciso Rodriguez, for him, yes. That, that, that's the only one you can see. And you can see the reflection inside, very nice touch. Back there, nothing much. Up there, the cap is like Dolce & Gamma, the one EDP. Bottom is your uh, sticker. No, yeah, there is a sticker, very faint, I think it's lasered. And the cap is kind of black, different than the EDP. Not very heavy, but solidly built plastic. 
atomizers on both these are monstrous. If you see the atomizer, check out the sprayer. Okay, this shoots out effortlessly. I'm gonna repeat a lot of things Peter said. I really liked his review, and I'm gonna say a lot of things like first thing he said is very satisfying just to press this atomizer. I agree, it's awesome. Every single time, effortless sprayer. It's one of the best alongside Dior and Chanel's. I think it's as good as those. Price for this, I think initially it came out only 50 mil. It was like 59 euros or something like that. Now you can find 100 mil of this. I think this one is gonna cost you in Bangladesh $65, which is very, very cheap. Trust me, this came for around, I saw prices like 110 US dollars before this. So I guess I got a very good deal. I got this from Stalin Enterprise. If you really wanna buy a bottle, knock Steve by. He'll, he'll have a bottle for you, both EDT and EDP. So that's about presentation, I think it's a Perfect 10 out of 10 for presentation. So now, the presentation is nothing without the juice. Why this juice? I'm calling it masterpiece. Okay, I'm calling the bottle is masterpiece and the juice. Bottle is just tanner. It's one of the best looking bottle I have, hands down. The smell. This fragrance, what is the main focus? In this line, uh, there is also the musk collection and there's also blue noir. I tested the blue noir, didn't like it. Mask edition, I saw it once in the duty free airport, I think KLIA, Kuala Lumpur National Airport, but I didn't get to try it. So I think they say most of the time, mask and this are quite similar. So if you have one, other one is redundant, right? Uh, the main focus on this, according to my nose, what this nose picked, uh, opening, it's a very beautiful burst, okay? Let me sh tell you the opening. I have the dry down here. Let's go with the opening here on the shirt. This is best if, you, if your skin kind of sucks, go on the clothes. It's going to last you a very long time. It's the... Oh, this is the most beautiful opening, you know, in a fragrance, non-synthetic, high class. And you, if you really want to get a feel of niche fragrances, if you don't own any niche, this will give you the taste of niche fragrance. I really believe the quality in this is niche. It easily should charge $200 for this fragrance. I wouldn't say that about that, not that many fragrances, okay? So opening is really a uh, beautiful florals. I get florals. They said iris. Imagine Prada loam, you know? So that's like, you know, uh, the most fresh and clean, safe office scent. That's sort of a uh, iris in that clean, you know? Imagine the best uh, soap you used for your shower. It just came out as holy, just holy, <laughs> nothing else. You came out fresh, holy, and the most uh, cleanest person in the world you know it's like you just took a shower you just became the most holy person okay most holy thing and there's not a single piece of dirt on your body that sort of clean cleanliness it sort of portrays gives a little bit soapy vibe i guess yeah it does give the soapy vibe and it's pretty much unisex the opening and the throughout the way whole way this is the unisex fragrance in my opinion then comes the center stage is musk all right this is a musk base fragrance if you do not like the note of musk you're not gonna like this. Those are the people caution in the air. You're not gonna like it or enjoy it if you do not like musk. But those people who understood, like after going through hundreds of fragrances in designer game, uh, you understood simplicity is the best, you know, in terms of uh, how great a fragrance is like it is, you know. Then you learn to appreciate this. This is very simplistic fragrance. This is very complex, but very simplistic. You get that opening iris, cleanliness, and then the musk takes over and this is some sort of peppery note i'm not quite sure what pepper they used but i picked up sort of like on dry down i picked up cashmere wood you know like some sort of woody like a base so up top you get your florals very nice florals not like ck1 sort of synthetic nose burning florals ploying no nope. this is unisex yes right but anyone can wear this with a lot of confidence Today it was like a very night outside, it's very cold air, breeze passing by. It's like literally if you don't wear a jacket, it will get to you, you know, you're gonna get like shivering in your body and stuff. That's the kind of weather I see this nighttime. Whew, sexy as hell. Many people on Fragrant Ticker they said, take away all my other fragrances, let me keep this. And I can see why. Uh, how many as application wise, I think you go two on the neck, side of your neck, one on your chest, all right? Some on your clothing. That's it. It will hold very nicely. If you don't have the best skin ever. Go heavy on your clothing. It will last easily eight hours plus in the cold weather. I think this is good for uh, date nights, uh, spending romantic time with your, you know, partner. If you're going to sleep, she wants to smell this 
like smell like this you know you, you they, she wants you to smell like this because you smell like the most um, like angel like this very best way i can put it this is scent of an angel this smells like an angel all right um every time i sniff it just mesmerizing you know i tried it on paper many people said it's weak doesn't last it doesn't project projection part after one hour is kind of softer in projection but if it stays cold colder it gets better it projects uh, hot weather i don't think you should try to wear it and it's not for young kids it's for mature noses definitely it's written all over it it's a bit more serious but very classy very up class rich manson if you love happen to love chanel o extreme and your sport o extreme this quality it's higher than this quality of chanel i'm just putting it out there okay if you love the musk in this you're gonna love this more right so yes in a nutshell cold weather fragrance match your noses long lasting projection uh, very good then comes to moderate but never gets weak uh, versatility it's kind of low because cannot wear it in the hot weather cold weather only uh, occasion formal close encounters spending quality time with your girl or your guy if a lady wears they'll find her very sexy um, you can detect a little bit of a there's nothing challenging or hate worthy because you see comparing with the EDT just tell you one thing last before I finish with the EDT EDT is kind of like on daring side they have some similarities very little on the musky side but this is a different fragrance altogether this is very daring this is almost like you have to love Fahrenheit if you have to like the note of violet to appreciate this this is very gothic right it's a very gothic fragrance it's dark it's for uh, funerals you know like a dark cold rainy day something mysterious this is even more mysterious but not as scary as this this is angel this i would call the devil so there's a nice little combo going right there right yes this is very nice but try before you buy i have one uh narciso for her i think i gave it to my mom there's a little bottle 30 mil i can detect that kind of musk in this you know there's like some sort of florals um some nice uh white sheets you know that sort of feel very clean it's clean all the way this gives me the same feel right so if you like to smell clean if you like to smell very up class but in a best, most minimalist way right people come near you they know this guy this guy's rich <laughs> go with Narcis rodriguez edp reviewers i would urge to you please look into this juice if you missed out on this you missed out on a masterpiece this is perfect 10 out of 10 this is what i call masterpiece such elegance i never seen that many fragrances before right so that's my take on Narcisse Rodriguez EDP for him. What a stunning juice, right? But try before you buy. Don't blind buy and blame me later. Let me put some more on. Let me enjoy the cold night, I guess. Wow. Check out the spray. I'll talk to you soon. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye bye.